Hi, boys and girls. This is Mrs. DiCarlo with some directions for um, creating your cell phone book project for the book Tuck Everlasting. We'll all be creating um, the same uh, kind of project about our class read aloud. So you'll see here the packet that you either received in class from your teacher or your family's picked up um, from the main office. And on the cover, you'll just see kind of an example. It's in black and white, so you have to imagine this being very colorful, um, but it just kind of gives you an example of what the finished product will look like. When you open your packet, You've got some directions here for how to assemble your cell phone. Um, and that's what I'm going to really get into in the rest of the video. But what's important about this page here is that it's a page to draft your, your answers. So it's kind of like a planner for creating this um, cell phone. Okay, so you've got different categories here like title. Everyone's gonna put Tuck Everlasting. Make sure you spell that correctly. We've got the author here and you're gonna look at the front cover of the book to find that it's Natalie Babbitt. Um, and you can uh, carefully copy her name there. Um, the genre is the kind of book that it is. Um, and so we know that um, because there is a there are characters who are immortal. Um, we, we can tell what kind of book this would be, so you would put that here. And then the rest of those story elements are listed down here. And again, you're going to be using this to plan and organize your ideas, okay? So please be sure to complete this page. It's just for you. You're not going to hand it in, but it's an important step in the project. Then over here we have um, button flaps, which I'm gonna show you in a few minutes how you would cut these out. And you actually have 12. So this is one, two, three, four. And then we've got another row of four and another row of four to make 12. So you're gonna cut these out in um, to 12 pieces. Not 24, but 12, because you wanna keep these pieces together, okay? And you'll see here, that's what it should look like when you cut out one, okay? This is not going smoothly here. There we go. Okay, on this page, you have the what will become the back of your cell phone. So you're going to carefully cut around the black edges here. I know we're kind of missing uh, an edge here, but I think that you can all just kind of use your scissor and guesstimate where that edge of the cell phone would be and just cut across, okay? And then of course, you have this, which is probably the most important part of your um, cell phone project because this is where most of your information is going to go. And you're going to carefully cut around the black edges. You don't really wanna cut through the black, you wanna cut around it as close as you can to make something that will look like this, okay? So I've already gone ahead and cut out some pieces, right? I've got my cell phone. I've got the back of my cell phone. And this is for some extra space that you might need as you are completing the project. So what you're going to do, the first step after you've cut out your pieces is you're going to glue these back to back. And just make sure you use um, a glue stick. Make sure you use enough of your glue stick and make sure that you line it up, okay? So that we have not too many edges showing. If you have a lot of the edge from the back showing, you might wanna trim it a bit. And one final thing, make sure that when you flip it over, it's not upside down like this, right? So make sure you glue the top to the top. Okay, so then the next step, boys and girls, is to take your flaps and to glue your flaps down in these boxes here. They're kind of like the apps, right? So this is the author app. You would glue with a glue stick under here and place this right there like that. And then you would continue until all of your flaps are glued down, okay? And it's on those flaps, as you'll see on the cover, that example, that you're going to represent that app um, just like you would see on a cell phone or an iPad or a tablet even, you would see those apps have a little picture and then you would flip up and you would see the answer, right? So for author, however you choose to represent that this is the author app underneath, you would write Natalie Babbitt, okay? If you need more room for some of these, right? So the plot, if you were to tell me what the story is mostly about in just a couple of sentences, well, it's not gonna fit here. It's not gonna just fit inside this um, app flap. What you're going to do then is you're going to flip your cell phone over 
and you can continue your writing on the back, okay? So this is the extra room that you might need if you can't fit all of the information inside the, the app flap, okay? If you have any questions, reach out to your teacher. Uh, she will be more than happy to help you.